Hi, you're with Chandeep at Goodly once again. And in this video, we're going to talk about that. How do you convert dates from a DDMM to an MMDD format? No, no, no. How do you convert dates from MMDD to DDMM format? Well, actually, it works both ways. Let's start. All right, taking a little break from Excel. Now, taking a little break from Power BI, we're going to discuss a nice little Excel trick today. Um, and this trick is essentially helpful because every once in a while you're going to get a date which is not in the format that you'd like it to be and you would want to convert it into a different format either from DDMM to MMDD or MMDD to DDMM format. I learned about this trick from an Excel guru. His name is Bob Umlus. And if you haven't really checked out his work, I suggest that you drop everything and please do take a look at his work. In, in fact, buy a few books that he's written, which is about amazing Excel tricks that you can actually do with Excel. So I'm just gonna actually put a few links um, underneath the video description and you should definitely take a look at this work. Now I met Bob at a webinar at a Romania Power BI user group and which is run by Christian Angel. If you haven't checked that out as well, there are a lot of good people over there. You should actually take a look at that as well. Now, finally, what is the trick itself? Now, take a look at this particular uh, date column here. We have the dates right here. And these dates are in the American format, which is the month day format. Now, I'm, I was in India, now in Dubai, but since my computer is in the Indian format, my computer reads the date in the DDMM format. Now, I would want these dates to be converted in the DDMM format. I have spoken about this particular topic earlier as well, but that was through Power Query. We are now going to use native Excel tricks. So, and you will also find another thing is that the delimiters are also different. So sometimes you have a little dash and sometimes you have a slash as well. So what do we do about that? I'm actually going to select this particular column and go over to the data and initiate something called as text to columns. I'm sure you're aware about it of delimiting any particular thing into multiple columns. We use text to columns. You can also use a shortcut, Alt A E, but for now I'm just using the interface. I do that. Now I'm not interested in parsing the date, like splitting the dates into multiple columns. I just want the format to be changed. So I pick up delimited, say next, but I'm not interested in delimiting the date and I'll just not pick up any particular delimiter. I'm just gonna click on next and here, which is where I can define the type of the column being created. I'm just gonna define that this column is going to be the date column but the format in which the computer has to read the date is not the DMY format, but the MDY format, month first, date second, and the year in the end. That's all about it. I click on finish, and all of these dates are now converted into month, day, sorry, DMY format. Now, just one thing before you actually quit on me. So I'll just press Control Z. I'm just gonna copy on this particular column and paste that right here. Now, this is just to kind of make a match between what we received in as an output and what we had as the input data. So I'll just do it again. Select on this particular column, Alt AE as a shortcut, delimited, nothing, no delimiter. Next, the format of the date is going to be MDY. Now I click on finish and all of the dates get converted into the correct format. Now the format that I have received is the format in which my computer runs, which is the DMY format but the format in which the date was read was the MDY format. That means 18 was not read as the month, 18 was read as the date, and it gave me the date in the correct format in which my computer understands and in which my computer is able to read the dates. All right, that was all about it. All right, that was all about it. I hope you found the trick helpful and you're gonna use this. In case you'd like to thank, you please do thank Bob Umlis for his incredible work. I'm just gonna leave a few links and you should definitely take a look at all of the books that he has written so far. Thanks so much for sticking around. And in the end, I'd like to give a big shout out about my DAX and my Power Query courses. In case you're on your journey to learn Power BI and DAX and Power Query are inc incredibly hard and you'd like to master these concepts right from scratch and then build up your fundamentals and then proceed on to solving more challenging problems, I'd highly recommend that you take a look at the courses. It's gonna be highly beneficial. Thanks so much and I will catch you guys in the next one. Cheers, bye.